golf mates welcome to season two episode five of the hidden gems we're in scotland we're basing ourselves in cullen we're up in the moray four spare valley and it is littered with golf courses there is golf courses everywhere but today i'm going to take you to a cliff top links you ready for this it's meant to have spectacular views so golf mates sit back relax enjoy hawkman golf Club. So golf mates, we have brought you to Hortman. What a place this is. That is the Murray Fourth. And I brought my little friend with me. I can't come up all the way to Scotland without my little friend. So I'm here with Mr. Barlow. He's here ready in his school pants. Mr. Barlow, we've warmed up. Yeah. Trevor has told us to play. I recommend 11. Uh, it's a tough driving hole. Get a good drive away, even an iron uh, for safety. Otherwise, you could be in trouble. Hole number 12, our signature hole. I've heard about this one. Paul Laurie's favourite par three. Uh, and it can be anything from a utility to a pitching wedge, depending on how the wind is. Next hole, it's sort of a wee golden triangle here. 15. Almost like one of the holes at Pebble Beach. I think it's either eight or nine. 16's the next one. Uh, basically there, keep left. Good hole. And, and you'll do well to get a four there. So Trevor said to play these all, so we are doing. There's meant to be two par threes, what some of the best par threes in the world. I don't know, only you're gonna find out what we're gonna find out, but we're having a four all match. Yeah. And you just want a shot on the last and that's it, don't you? Okay, fiver. Fiver, so golf mates, we are in Spear Valley. It, it is absolutely beautiful. Sun's out, legs are out, school pants are out, Golf mates, enjoy Holtman Golf Club. Right, golf mates, so we start on the 11th hole here. It's 350 yards, par four. But like Trevor said, what you see there, they are hillocks. I didn't know what hillocks are, but it's just wee hills. Well, that's what Trevor says. There's a wee bit of a uh, hillock on the right, and there's a, what? a hillock. You heard hillock? of a hillock? Yeah. No. It's a wee mound. Right, okay. okay. So, yes. so it's a hill? So it's a hill. But it's got on the column a hillock? Yes. Okay, we right. Hillock. So Trevor said, don't go long. Obviously, I think we can see the out of bounds. Mr Barlow, odds are even. Odd. Number three. That'll be odd. I'll go first. Right. So we've nicknamed Mr Barlow at the moment because we played at the Colin last night. Are you ready? Captain Slice. So he has got a little fade. So he's going to start it left and bring it in. But hillocks, never heard of that before. It's definitely a Scottish oh, thing, have you? I've learned to something what rhymes with it, but not hillocks, no. <laughs> right, come on, are you thinking I'm one of them? And what I will say, I have never met so many golf mates at a golf course. This place is friendly, but Mr. Barlow is a big favourite. You going for Mr. Fade? Yeah. Where's your fade gone? That's it, it's coming down in That's the middle. The Look, can I keep oh, bouncing? Oh, hit the hillock. That's right, down the Millic Hillock. Are you going I'm Irish or that. Scottish, sir? What was that accent? I'm a little bit of a Scottish Englishman today. So, golf mates, last time we came up Scotland with eBay Pete, we got the weather wrong. It snowed. But look at it now, it's perfect. Right. Back to the shot in the game. Good shot four required. Me yeah. Iron. Left Under. to right wind, I think. It is left to right, isn't it? Strong off the left that yeah, way now. Yeah, it's kicking him more. Right, I still, you have a bit of CB there. 
Yeah, straight down the Mersey. No, that's a career best. Straight down the Mersey. There's no Mersey, that's the Murray Falls. Mersey Middle. Shot. Look at the wind on that. Yeah, it's taking That it. needs to get over that hillock. Well, it was well over. Oh, that'll do then. We met the president today, Dash captain the captain is the president the press the president is the captain it's a bit different up here but but he promised me hospitality that means he's going to get me a drink after what's your That's name it. sir hey, i'm billy billy nice to meet you sir you you? the problem i'm having in scotland right everyone he's their favorite he's but that, your favorite you no know, but everyone loves him i'm trying to say that he looks like i don't know if he looks like res rassi nasbit or a fat ali mccoy george clooney I don't I can't well, see that. I have to say a bit more like about the George Clooney myself. You see? See? You know, see? He's, he's your you. favourite, isn't he? Uh, no, he, no. Yeah, he is, you like. Yeah, yeah, Richard you know Gear. You know what it is? You've just got that kind of face. Yeah. Like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I've been trying to tell you gently. I love these hidden gems. It's the people you meet, new courses, and it's the bits of history of the courses because this didn't used to be an 18. Far from it. Originally was a nine hole course. Well, Hopeman Golf Club was founded in 1909, originally a nine hole. Till 1985, uh, we went to 18 holes. Basically a community, family friendly club is what we ethos of the place. Uh, we came on leaps and bounds from a, an original railway carriage, uh, which was replaced in the mid 70s with the, the building it, it was standing just now. And we're a great sort of friendly club uh, for people to enjoy. I mean, Trevor knows his stuff. He really does. Trevor knows his stuff. He's been nothing but great for us. But what I will say is this. Are you ready? Every village we drive past, and I mean this, every village we drive past, there's a golf course. Right, I've got your 135 to the middle. Wind off the left. Strong wind off the left. I'm going to play it short, golf mates, because this, if you've seen on the footage, listen to us. All the yellow, that's what you want. Burn links fast so this is a four round it's literally level mr barlow's driver so it, it is gonna go and bounce a tickle so i've got wedge left of that pin let the wind do its stuff see the wind got the it now got it straight away might take it to that bunker it's bouncing now it's on the oh, green it's the bunker it's not it's on the green pin eye Oh, is it on the fringe? It's not on. Yeah, it's on. It looks like the green for yeah, me. Yeah, it's back in the bunker. I thought it went in. Tell you what, proper links that, proper links. Right, golf mates, he's got one, three, one. Is it one, three yards longer than me? He's got a nine. What are you seeing, Steve? I'm trying to hit it left of the pin. Hopefully the wind fetches it straight on the pin. Just like that? Yeah. Golf shot. No, he did see it go big, the pro. What a oh, kick that oh, is. what a kick that was. That's disgusting. That's You're disgusting left. at times. You have the luckiest <laughs> golfer I've left. ever played with. That's great. I'm inside you as well. That's links for you though, <laughs> isn't it? You get the good That's bounce, go you get your bad bounce. Yeah, and I've got a lucky bounce. Come on, gossish golf mate. Paul Laurie is uh, an honorary president here because of this one famous hole we're playing next. Paul Laurie's words, not mine, probably one of the best par threes in the world. He's won the Open, we'll take his word for it. Right, golf mates, the weather is changing with that Scotland for you. Just me, sir. Just. Well, what I will say, the Murray Forth behind us, beautiful, but I'll tell you, we're going to finish this all, and I'll tell you about a story we found out by about a lot of Scots people have told us. And it's about every village we pass has got a golf course. It's crazy, but let me tell you about it after a box this in for a birdie. Not bad. Not bad. Do you know what? Point there, I didn't think I was going to get there. Just my spot it on me. it. Yeah, please. Looks three foot from here. Oh, the wind's getting up. Mr. Barlow for a birdie. Oh. Now then. <laughs> oh, well. Thank you very much. <laughs> you know, shots are the last anyway, have you? No. Right, right over to up. Liam, puts him for par. Little bit right to left, I see. You're not wrong. He'll box this. It's... Bang in the middle. Well Firm done. aggression. 
Permagression in the middle. Right, this should be fun now, shouldn't it? Yeah, in that wind as well. Right, golf mates, we said we're going to take you with us and you're going to see what we're going to see and this is why we've come here. What a golf hole that is. Wow. Right into wind. It is into wind, that, isn't it? It's 136, downhill. So that'll play about 120. I think it's a free club wind. I'm, I'm going to go with seven iron. And so am I. <laughs> oh, there's some walkers at the steep. Yeah. No wind down there. Where? It shut that door. Yeah. Wow. I think you've dressed for today, aren't you? I'm glad I put my long pants on. Right. I'm thinking left of that bunker and let the wind do the stuff. When it's breezy, swing easy. I think that's right, perfect. It's, it's up in the air. That's come backwards, that. I'll take it. I'll tell you what, I nutted that's a 7-iron, 136, downhill, into about 8, <laughs> eight club window. I don't know what he's going to do, but it's going to be fun. <laughs> Golf mates, we went to Northern Ireland to learn. That had a nice par 3. But look, it was like a par 3 there. We've got one behind this, it looks like. But this is why we do hidden gems. £35 a round here. Right, go on, sorry. What are you waiting? I'm hitting a 7 iron. Hoping it's enough. Well, I didn't get there. I know, well, I'm going to hit more left, and hopefully the wind's going to get it. Golf shot. This is on the pin, this. And I mean, this is on the pin. Oh, golf, mate! How's about that? <laughs> <laughs> Same club as you, mate. I didn't want to say. I didn't nut it because we're playing for a five, you've got to get the old needle in. Uh, oh, interesting fact. Let me show you. Come with me. Come on, Joe. Right, golf mates. Interesting fact here. For speed play up, what they do, you ready? They have two courtesy buggies round the corner, just peeping away. And what they're for is for just get on them, go down the hill, play your hole, back up the hill. So every day they have two courtesy buggies there. How's that for, you ready? Management, spot on. Spot on, Trevor. Right, two great shots there. I'm, well, I'm happy with mine, but it's just been uh, battered by yours. Same mine. You know, the green's always smart. Do you know what? You could actually come yep, left. And come run down. Yeah. I'm going to call it. Tell me a better par three. Not as I've played yet, no. I'm Very. Put that. Tell me a better par three. I can't think of a better Paul one. Paul Lurry them. might be bang on, hasn't he? Yeah, beautiful. I say Lurry, I think it's Lorry. Lorry, it is. Peter, Peter Lorry. Paul Lorry, you're Paul not. Paul Lorry. Yeah, I know it being with P. <laughs> right, you're giving me a shot on Eve. You don't remember names, aren't you? No. Paul Lorry. He won the open at Carnoustie. That's him. I think that Van der Vel felt pieces. That would have might have been that year. Now the bad Scottish weather came in, didn't it? And he thrived. One minute it's raining, next minute it's sun shining. Thought he had that. Down hill. No, that's uh, just put a marker on it, please. Go on. Right, well, a ooh, two. This would be. Is it right to left, pal? Yeah. Come on, I'd love you, mate. This honestly, I'm going to give you some love. Ooh. Take it away. Tell you what, quick, quick turn. What a par that is. Beautiful, stunning. To be fair, your shot were solid. It proper, wasn't it? It was a gorgeous shot. And I'm being too nice to you. Well, right, I'll tell you what, though, the three, Scottish people at this course are unbelievable. Four. I'll show you in a minute. Good par. Well done. So, golf mates, as I was saying about the hospitality, you can see us laughing there. We've met so many golf mates, haven't we? And everyone in Scotland loves him. They love him. I think they just, I, I don't know, but they just love him. But back to the, what I was saying. When we were driving here, and especially when we knew we got on last time when we come on the motorhome, every village has a golf course and a football stadium or a football ground and like a community hall. But why is that? So golf's really Scotland's national game. Uh, every wee village in the area has almost got a golf club uh, or a course. 
uh, round about in about 20 miles radius from here, you'll get, to, there is 12 courses, minimum. We've got three miles away, we've got a wee place called Cove Sea, and further along the coast there, you've got Murray with his two golf clubs there. But as I say, within a 20 mile radius, you've got a dozen clubs that's worth a hit. Oh, it's, uh, well, how can you not like that? Are you liking it? I, how, how can you not? Oh, you're what a lot you shorter on television. Uh, no. You are. You're, you're a lot shorter on television. I've grown now. <laughs> <laughs> I've dropped it. The... How are you, pal? You all right? Yeah. You're like me, aren't you? You've come on a scooter. Oh, I <laughs> right, look at this golf, mate. Par three next. Firing into the Murray Four. What a par three. What a place. Look at it. Right, golf, mates. 130 yards. This is what? Trevor told us about, this is Nessie. Can't go big, cause you're in the Murray Fourth, as you can see. So I've got eight tie and I've teed it up a tad. So it's just over the bunkers, the locals have told us. And then it should just run in. But it is windy and I think it can have it actually this. And then we're up to the, the 16th hole. Mr. Barlow has got a shot. It's a great strike. Right at pin, just. Did you hit that well? No, I don't think I did. But I hit it, well, I say it high on the face because it's hit up high. But all the locals have said is pop it over the bunker and it'll run. I can't see the ball, but it should be all right. What have you got? A German. A German? Might be wrong club, but I'm chicken in it. I don't want to go big. Right, so if you go big, it's Trevor's gone. already told us what happened when you go big. It's gone. It's a big water hazard, isn't it, Steve? So I'm going over that front bunker and hopefully it runs down. Oh. Bits it right. Oh no, you're in. You're all right. Ah, that was a, a bad one, that wasn't it? Eh? Chipping a putt. That was a bad one for you, sir. Chipping putt. You're in the, the driving seat. We've got seat. a shot coming up, Annie. So I need to get one up ASAP. So this is why we're bringing you to these places. Now, I think if you stay in Elgin, which is down from Inverness, you ready for this? Trevor's already told me. Elgin's a great base uh, to, for you for you to stay. Uh, there's quite a number of hotels there. Within 20 mile, you're in Cullen. 20 mile further up the coast from that, you're in Nairn. Got ourselves in between, along with Elgin, Forest. We actually do a, a deal with Forest in the summer. 69 pounds, and you can play two courses within three days. Call a surf and turf package. We're the surf, they're the turf, because they're just inland a bit. Elgin, there's plenty of hotels, plenty of it do. And I'm going to give you an example. Today's golf course is 35 pound for that. 35 pound now if you come up on a trip or even if you're coming from america you want to go to your bucket list courses don't disrespect the smaller courses because they're just stunning right mr barlow yes a little bit right won't you yes difficult chip in yeah, Silly valley why you can't go big i could have given that a bit more right scoopy whoopy what's he got this needs a delicate one he's already chipped well today i don't know what that were I mean, that's just disgusting, isn't it? I mean, you couldn't teach that. Oh, a bit more. Right, so that's a great tee shot. Mr. Harrison, putting for birdie. All downhill. I didn't catch it, you know. Left to right. Honest. Hey, he's right, wasn't he? Just over the bunker. This is worth a journey, isn't it? Oh, it's well worth a journey. Beautiful, picturesque. Fantastic par threes. So what we've done, we've played the 11th for the 12th. This is actually the 15th hole. But all the others are... Really good, the back nine so strong. Good put. Please turn. Very good. Take that away. Do you know what? I was quiet. I didn't do the walk or anything. Take that away. The 13th is exceptional par three, innit? We're not playing the 13th, we played the 11th, 12th, Steve. Glad you're along for the roll. Oh, yeah, 12. Sorry, 12th it was. And this is the 15th, Steve. Yeah, it was a Hey, man, I'm Liam. I've been playing with you all afternoon. It was You're a all right. 12. You're six down. It's 12. Right, this is for a par. Come on, Mr. Barlow. No. Right, what well, up to you? Want to play? I think you've got a shot, sir, haven't you? Yeah, it's needed. So, this is what Trevor's told us. This is where you're getting your shot. 
And what he said is, it's tight, it's long, and the deep Scottish boys, you ready? Good hole, but stay left. Right, Mr. Barlow, the 16th. Yeah. It, Shot all. For me, yeah. Is this the one Trevor said they, uh, they're going to be extending? Yes. So, Dr. Alice McKenzie's family have designed some of the best courses in the world. Of friends with the Hortmans in that house, I think Trevor said right. And they've already set out where they're going to have the green. This is going to be a par five. Top course architect came in and over the last few years, Tom McKenzie and McKenzie Niebert. The plan is for 16 to make it in a, a par five. So take a tee down around the back of the 15th, where everybody goes. Get Extend the hole that way. We're going to take the 17th tee further up. The view from the 17th tee is amazing just now. I can tell you, you're really in Hopeman with the beach huts and you can see the harbour from there as well. So it tells you, you're in Hopeman. A more look at it, it's a tight. This reminds me of a speech in Portugal, this. Yeah, nothing for right. And he said, left, left, left. That's what he said. You must stay left. Shots. And that should get, get over the hillocks and it'll run. Well over the hillocks. That's still so running. we're happy with that. So golf makes up. We based ourselves at Cullen and it's took us. You ready? Forget it, yeah? 30 minutes. But we, we could be anywhere now on that side, 30 minutes. It's just a great different place and a different location than going to all the big places where there's nothing wrong with them, but these are proper hidden gems. Right, Mr. B. Need a good shot here. One down. There's loads left, of room left. left. Where I'm looking now, there's left, left, left all day long, Steve. Beautiful. Cut. Beautiful. Oh, nice bounce. I think, finally, you've outdrawn me now. Thank you. Here, let's get your <laughs> contraction. Here. Golf mates, also, I forgot to say, in the clubhouse, they've got a new section called uh, the Mashy Niblets. You know the old clubs? What a setting to have a little tenant. He'll be paying with his five pound. Right, golf mates, he's left himself 185 to the middle. And what a stunning back nine holes these are. Two of the best par threes I've ever played. Well worth a visit. Proper, proper links golf. It's hard, isn't it? It's firm. Right, I've got it's six iron, I think. I'm going to say I'm going to stay in left thinking for the bounce because I'm taking it. It's the, it's the cliffs, isn't it? This is a proper cliff top. Struck it well. I don't think it's a no, oh, no, oh. not enough. Depends on bounce. Oh, no, it's, it's kicked right. I think that could be I, front edge ish. I, I think you're short. I'm not saying not. I'm not saying it's going to get on the green, but front edge ish. Could be. You're going to tell everyone that you've outdrove me again. You've, I did it an <laughs> iron. What have you got? 160. Wind off the right. Seven iron. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Hopefully, yeah, that's the idea. Right. You've struck a few good irons today. Turn. Cutting. I mean, it's not a great shot like mine weren't great. Oh, look Good at that bounce. bounce. Oh, if he's zooming in, you oh, oh, that's no, definitely no. on the front edge, that. That's got to be on the front edge. I don't want to go off a look at that. I think I'm going to be short and you've creeped on. I think it's just. Weren't on. the best strikes, but it doesn't matter. I'll tell you what. It's what you get with this links. is the Moray 4 is proper, proper scenic. I am not going to put it. I don't blame you. It's run, 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 isn't it? We're in Scotland, so we've got to try this. I could eight iron it, but I'm gonna put it. Mr. Barlow has hit a man better putting. shot than me. I've, I've, I've been out of sync today, but I've been getting them there. It's good. It could be really good, this. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, you couldn't do much oh, better sit if down, you chipped. Sit down, sit down, sit down. You couldn't do much better if you chipped that. God, it was just here, you know, because it's burnt. I feel on it golf, picked up. 50 yards in, putter. Right, just off the green golf, mates. You're on a shot and I'm struggling for a par. Green's a lush. I think he might be fast, this. Left to right. Well. I think I, I had too much topspin on mine, didn't I? I know, I can't believe how you put it that far back and you've got it right past the hole. It looked like it was fast. 
Right, put in for par. Good put. Set that away. Five. Right, can we finish on a high golf, mate? We've got two putts. Yes. You want to show? Yeah, I got five. We yeah, have well, one up. Yeah. I don't want to do it in Oh, par. you've got two putts, haven't you? Yeah. Well, come on. I think your tee shot deserves a Deserves a par. A par. Boom! How's that? <laughs> For you Scottish golf mates who back me to the hilt. Uh, it's a playoff, that's an art. Well, or should we go into the niblet bar? Let you make the choice. Niblet bar, eh? I think so. Let's get into the mashy bar. 